here we go part three of our hail scale series in this episode we're going to wrap up our current leaderboard show you a couple of new projects that our 10k designers members have worked on just to reminder as usual this is not comprehensive feedback but our hope is that you are able to use some of these things in your own projects so let's get into it so here we have Smeet, Smeet Patel, who's worked on this app. You can already see there's a cluster of comments here. So definitely this is in progress, has a bunch of people excited about it, talking about it, but let's jump in. So this is an app for booking catering services. And what it lets you do is for any event, it lets you pick your location, pick your specifics. What do you want? Do you want food? Do you want sweets? What are the different counters, number of guests? And he's created a flow to be able to do this in a very simple way, rather than maybe calling them up and visiting them and doing that. My initial thoughts, right? I overall love the visuals, but here I like that he's used Truecaller login, right? Now this might seem like a very small thing, but it serves two purposes. For somebody who already has Truecaller, this is an instant verification. So you can literally skip a lot of these onboarding steps and directly jump here. And the sooner you can get your user to the value of your app, the better it is. So definitely a great job thinking about this and including this. And the second advantage that it has, something like this, is it actually saves companies money because every SMS that they send actually costs a few paise. I don't know what the rate is, but it's um, under a rupee. It's like five paise per SMS or something like that. So this using Truecaller actually is a great way to save money for the company as well. The attention to detail, like I think on the uh, login screen, the quickly I noticed was that the state was still enabled even before the number has been entered. So that's just one mm. small thing. Just want to be mindful of all the different states. But here, getting started, right? This I think is a very core part of the flow because this is his activation flow. This is where he collects all this information based on which he can show results. Now, I'll just add a note on something that I liked. And this is something that all of you can actually implement in your own case studies. Here, instead of just directly saying search and maybe including a map, which is how maybe Swiggy and Zomato do it. I think what he's done is he is picking a city and this is a great example of how you can actually use data to make informed design decisions. Because here you could, for example, look at your total user base and say that, hey, most of our users are from Ahmedabad or Yay. in this case, yeah, Ahmedabad <laughs> doing well. Or in this case, let's say it's Hyderabad. Now, instead of scrolling all the way to, down to H, it might be a good idea to show your top 10 cities up front here, which really saves people that scrolling time or having to search. So that using data, of course, this is a hypothetical app, but in a real life scenario, that would be a really good thing to do. So Janil, overall, one thing I love about this, visuals really, really clean. Like to me, it one feels point. like if Smith rebranded this app and just called it Zomato Catering, I would totally just be like, yeah, I can imagine it. It's right here. Because it does yeah. have something which kind of reminds me of Zomato. Maybe it's the typography, uh, but mm -hmm. yeah. I think a small thing is with the rating, instead of having those hard things, I would just like go um, higher on just having the star or just the numbers there, to be honest. Um, Cause that's just more something we're used to seeing these days. Like you just have like, for example, like 4.5 star, you can go numerical as a result, like versus like three and a half star. It's hard to visualize in like such small space. So that's mm -hmm. the only thing and it'll free up a lot of space for him as well. One thing I also love, this is might not be immediately obvious is he's used auto layout for everything. So all of these are really, really up to spec. Uh, you can kind of see that here. Really good to do that. It really shows that you're comfortable with these advanced features in Figma. And now, of course, while looking just at the screen, I might not be able to tell. I still have to look at your visuals or rather your layers right here. But it's good to know that you've done that. This is a very, very good visuals design. All right, let's talk about this one. <laughs> the Mukwas. <laughs> do you like Mukwas or no, by the way? Uh, w w okay, what exactly? Is, is Mukwas pan and all that stuff? Yeah, exactly. I like love Mukwas. Stuff okay. I I'm a fan. Oh, you do? I love Mukwas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what I love is um, when I talk to Sumit, he actually called a bunch of caterers and he actually gone to a couple of weddings. So he actually asked them, like, what are some of your most uh, frequent like pain points? And then most of these caterers were like, hey, these are the things that clients ask us a lot. Like, is there a Mukwas counter there? 
is there like a staff that can speak English? Um, so he's actually added that right there. So now if you are a customer who's trying to like book something and you can directly see, oh, there's a Mook Plus counter in this package, you're sold. You don't have to call and verify like, Bhaiyaji, is there going to be a Mook Plus counter there or not? And all these things. So I think this level of going above and beyond and this attention to detail is just mind blowing to me. Absolutely. I love that as well. Overall, let's rate this. Okay. Um, I love that this is about food because we're going to be giving this a rating, how tasty it is. So what on the pale scale, how do you rate this channel? I'm going to give him a solid four. Okay. Why? I think um, in general, like the visuals and stuff are on point. He's, and if you look at like, if you just zoom out, you see the amount of flows he's got, like he's got the onboarding flow. He's got the ordering flow. He's got the flow where you can like see as a caterer what's going on. So he's got like so many different journeys mapped out. Um, and then the attention to detail is just mind boggling to me. Like even on some screens, like you mentioned, like he's used like auto layout and so many things. So he's really gone above and beyond and his effort is very clearly visible to me. So mm. the finished product, like you said, the final veil that I see in front of me, it looks yummy and I'm just like, I want to dive in and start eating. <laughs> awesome. My rating, Smeet, this is delicious. I'm going to give this a 4.8. Right, this oh, I'm gonna, my damn. highest rating so far. <laughs> I think the only reason I would remove those point two um, is I think I would love to actually see this all come together as a prototype. Now, maybe you've already done that. Maybe I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna reserve that point two for some of the deeper details that I would really have to think more about. But this is pretty much perfect. This is pretty much um, what I would expect from any designer I would hire. And for any people out there who are looking to hire a designer, definitely reach out to Smith or anybody else that <laughs> and, you see here. <laughs> One quick question on that bale note. You know, like some bayajis put some dhania on top and they're done, you know, making the bale, they just put some extra dhania. So yeah. do you actually like that or no? I love it, bro. I love the dhania. I think um, what I like about that is it just adds a bit of freshness to it, right? Yeah. Um, here, I think that is basically the small details, right? While it doesn't really have to be micro interactions, but micro, micro details, like the fact that Mukwa's counter, in terms of UI, you know, it is probably just your text. Like you could have very easily added any other text here. But the fact that you firstly called it Mukwa's, which is exactly what people call it. So it um, connects with them rather than just calling it the something else right and the fact that all your information all your titles everything is been thought through i think this the dhania on this great <laughs> amazing details so this app here this is by josh josh shah i i, I think we got, we're, we're on a guju streak are we not <laughs> i know that's what i'm thinking about it too <laughs> yeah so josh has worked on an app called your peer now, this helps people find peers and mentors and I guess career counselors to get guidance from. And for all my Guju peeps tuning into this video, game show. So something that stand out, right? I definitely like this from the last time that we actually saw this. Uh, he has made a bunch of design decisions, um, just getting rid of this dark red color, which I did feel was yeah. a little too um, saturated, kind of like aggressive. It was just like deep red like the color of blood right <laughs> this i feel like a little bit more chill lets the um individual elements kind of stand out uh, there are a few details here right that's some of the things that i did not like or some details here definitely there's room for improvement for example this bar here now when you have these three icons this is the wrong alignment now you don't want to really push all of these to the edges and have this in the center you ideally want to create left and right gaps so a very simple way to do this would be try to see if you can find an app which has three and try to see how they do it but in general i would have preferred this to be much closer to actually use the left and right margins here in a equal consistent way i think one update that i like that he's made from the previous version is hmm. that if you look at the previous version what he had done was that he had just dumped all the content on the page and then it was more of like user you figure it out now the problem is when you're designing stuff what you really want to do is you want to help the user make a choice or come to some sort of decision right you don't want to like um cause analysis paralysis 
So in the new design, what's happened is instead of just like dumping all this content, like like if you look at this one, what's happened is, is the previous version. It was just like sections by sections. But if in the new version, what's happened is he's removed a lot of these sections and said that, hey, here's a featured YouTuber of the day. Here's this featured video. Here's this featured playlist. So very easily when I'm logging into this app as a user, I'm not overwhelmed, right? So similar to how Netflix, like the biggest problem they had for so much, so many years is that you log into Netflix, you're like, boss, kya dekhenge? And then mm. I waste 30 minutes of my life never to come back. And I have no idea what I'm going to watch. And I'm frustrated. And I'm like, you know what? Hell with this. Mm. I'm not going to watch anything. So he's yeah. really like being mindful of that in helping me choose like, what should I watch next mm. or listen to? Definitely. And I would say that's an application of Hicks law, right? Hicks law, kind of straightforward. I don't, I don't really refer to it as Hicks law. It just kind of feels intuitive to me. But what it says is the more choices you have on the screen, the more time it takes you to decide what to click on, right? So if you're able to cut down on the number of choices that a person has, like here, I could have clicked on any of these. But since they're all also very similar, nothing really stands out. They all kind of feel at the same level. So this, uh, this layout works much better. Um, in my opinion. Yeah, the newer one is much better, yes. Yeah. Janil. Yes. How do you rate this on the Bale scale? So on the Bale scale, he's going to get some kudos from me. So I've had this happen a couple of times. I don't know if this happened to you. You go and eat some Bale and it's not, it didn't turn out right well. And you say like, Bhaiaji, maza nahi aaya. And then a lot of times, what I've noticed is that the Bhaiaji will take back that Bale, throw it away or something, and then just make a new fresh one for me. Like whatever the reason might be. Like, so what I really like in this case is that he's actually gone, taken a lot of that feedback and created a new version and mostly implemented. So I want to give him some extra credit for just putting in the effort and implementing the feedback. So I'll give him a solid, uh, in this case, a 3.8 just for mm. the effort and consistency. Um, if he had not done these updates, I would have given this like a 3.4. Cool. My rating overall, I think I like this. I'm going to give this actually a three. I, you know, I could have definitely gone 3.5 on this. Let's say 3.5, okay. Uh, the 0.5 that I just added in real time right now was the fact that this is a definite improvement over the last one we saw. So there's definitely iteration, there's definitely progress, and I love to see that. But the main thing that took me away here was the lack of attention to detail. So some that stood out to me, um, here, there's a space of before the question mark, right? That's a grammatical error, technically. Similarly, here, there are two spaces before session, right? Right here. Here, so open up, right? I don't think that's the best copywriting, but also after a full stop, you're supposed to have a space. So in terms of those attention to detail, I definitely think copy could use a refresh. You could definitely go through this one and select that. There are also a few more that are not really copy related. So for example, pick a slot versus complete your payment here. These are two different text styles. Like this is 20 pixels and this is 14 pixels. Now, ideally in terms of your components, these two should probably be the exact same style, right? So for that attention to detail, I've got, I've deducted a few points, but I definitely see um, progress from the previous one. So I'm looking forward to see how this turns out once a lot more changes have been made. So folks, that was our design review. Thanks a lot for watching this. If you liked some of these things, if you liked some of the insights from this, definitely let us know in the comments what are some points that stood out to you and we will see you in another future video we will probably be eating bhel for effect and let us know your favorite braille in the comments too so if you have a specific location you go or a specific type of bhel you want just let us know in the comments yeah let's crowdsource uh, all india bhel list <laughs> <laughs>